Science is a course which is designed to take astronauts through the experience of an analog to a space mission. CAVE is designed as a six days course in a cave where the astronauts will explore the cave, take scientific measurement, map the cave, and live together as a team for six days. Ready? In three, two, one, now. On a practical side, we've learned how to photograph um, and, and re record various elements uh, uh, in terms of working with not just cameras and flashes, but also mapping inside a cave with measuring tapes, laser range finders for, for distances, etc., and compasses and inclinometers. Remember it on the way back. So it's quite uh, quite interesting for astronauts to, to listen to different stories of cave formation in Sosiopos. Uh, stories of water, of airflow, of uh, water levels, of sediments, and of spilling of them formation in the final part of the cave. Tells you something about the speed of the water. Of the, water. Yeah. the smaller they are, the faster the water was running. Yeah. So if we in Sosiopos we have a lot of uh, different galleries and a, a real labyrinth. So it's, it's quite a different explanation of how a cave form and the astronauts can, can come aware of how difficult it can be to explain how a cave forms because each cave is a different world. It needs different explanations. It has a different history. Astronauts will go through six days of living together, go through team processes, work together as a team, reflect on their team processes, leadership, cross-cultural experiences in a team of six, as they will do when they are in ISS. We'll have European astronauts, Canadian, Japanese, and cosmonauts from the Russian Space Agency. So that's the sort of practical and scientific element to it. In terms of the team building, we've learnt how to work together as a team, how to overcome problems, how to make decisions, um, and how to distribute responsibilities within a small international group in a uh, confined and fairly unusual environment. Scientific instruments we will be placing in the cave where the astronauts will be staying for five nights uh, are instruments that will record uh, temperature, humidity, wind speed and direction in a certain passage in this cave, a narrow passage where we have a, a lot of airflow. These measurements have never been done in that place and can tell us something about uh, volumes involved, so something about the form, the morphology of the cave before and uh, after the squeeze that uh, the astronauts will later on explore. So it has some interest scientifically and it will be interesting to see what comes out of data set that uh, will be uh, uh, taken away from the instruments each day by the astronauts themselves. In a complex cave like this one, certainly, um, the moment you turn around to come back, everything looks completely different and it's very easy to make a wrong turning. So on the way in, you have to be very careful, looking back every now and again to try and recognise some features. Uh, maybe it's a particular speleothem that stands out to you, or maybe it's the, the flow of a cave. If it's a, a water form cave, for example, it might be slightly easier to follow the course of the water or the course of the airflow. But it certainly is very challenging to, to find your way back.